Hey, the relief is still a ways off, and we've got another uncomfortable night ahead. Lots to talk about. Let's get right to it and show you where the temperature sits, even as we speak. It is still 102 degrees. Okay, it's getting later in the day now. It's time to turn the corner. We have a little bit when you consider that 103 was our high today. Yes, it is one for the record books and just smashes the old record of 95 degrees set back in 1971. Other places are beginning to cool off a little bit. I noticed Tacoma is down to, down to 99. 104 in Olympia, 100 in Bremerton, got 96 in Everett. Where's it cooler around the country? Here's kind of an interesting list. Talk about a reversal of the natural order of things. New Orleans, El Paso, Dallas, Miami, Los Angeles all cooler than Seattle today. Okay, let's take a look at the forecast for tonight. A hot one, uncomfortable night ahead. You can see the numbers right there. It's essentially a repeat of last night. Now, the other thing we're keeping an eye on, and you probably noticed if you look out towards the Cascade, you see those really big cloud buildups out there. Those are thunderstorms, and we've got a severe thunderstorm warning for about another 10 minutes for the areas of essentially eastern Snohomish County up in the Cascades there. Uh, one of the primary concerns was around Verlot there uh, and east of Granite Falls. Things are continuing, but it is getting a little bit better. So the thunderstorm warning until 630. Uh, not much cooler tomorrow. You can see the numbers there. We start off around 70 or so. We'll wrap it up just a little shy of 100 degrees. Overnight lows will be warm to just plain old uncomfortable and highs tomorrow. This is a little bit cooler than what we did today in most communities, but it is still amazingly hot by Northwestern standards. There you see it. It will be a little bit cooler in places like uh, on Whidbey Island, uh, but Mount Vernon tomorrow, mid 90s for you. Along the coast is where we'll see more significant cooling, and that's a place to think about if you really want to get cool right away, you head for the coast, you're going to find a few clouds and temperatures much, much more to your liking if you can do that. Now here's what's going on up in the Cascades. The thunderstorms will probably be back tomorrow. We'll keep an eye on that. 13,000 feet on the snow level east of the mountains, just as hot as the west, but no more hot, which is kind of unusual there too. Toasty night ahead. We still will be melting in the morning. Another scorcher in the afternoon. Slightly cooler, slightly cooler over the next several days. At the very least, guys, we'll get back to the 80s. I can't believe we're going down to get to the 80s. And oh, by the way, uh, I checked on the uh, temperature last hour in uh, Death Valley. It was 106 degrees there. We're not far away from that. Yikes. Back to you. Yeah, no, we don't get compared to the desert too often, do we? No, nope. uh -uh. it's really rare, if uh -huh. ever. All right, Steve, thanks. Coming up next, great local homes for rent at unbelievable prices, but someone's being set up.